Hey guys and welcome back to All About The Popcorn. I'm Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about movies and then consider hitting that subscribe button. So today we're going to attempt to talk about the strangest, weirdest musical I think I've ever seen. So before I officially do start with this review as I do mention every time I talk about a musical, if you are not into like strange, odd, weird type of movies, movies with like creepy looking animatronic puppets or just musicals in general then Annette is not going to be for you but if you are into those things then stick around so I'm pretty sure Annette is going to be getting a lot of mixed reviews. I don't think this movie is really going to be for like the general audience. So Annette is a rock opera and one of the most unique experiences if of course you allow yourself to go on this experience. You're going to find on the screen this year. You're definitely going to be swept away by like the performances and the visuals of the movie. It's a very very strange one and I don't really want to get into any spoilers. I am only going to get into one spoiler. And I don't really know if it is a spoiler because I didn't see the, re the review. I didn't see the trailer for this movie so I don't really know what it showcases. But of course if it does, I'm gonna show it here. And if it doesn't, I'm going to get a photo because you guys need to see this in case you don't go on this experience, okay? So my one and only spoiler is about Annette. <laughs> All right, I'm just, so I'm still trying to process the movie because I just saw it today. So Annette is the daughter of Henry and Anne who are played by Adam Driver and uh, Marion Cotillard sure I'm pronouncing her last name wrong. Annette is a animatronic puppet. Yeah, very creepy looking. Like I said, creepy. If you're not into creepy looking puppets, it's not going to be for you. So as the audience, as we're watching this as an audience, we are to believe and we need to accept the fact that this puppet is actual, it's an actual baby. Okay, because in the story, in as the characters in the story, they are treating this puppet as an actual baby. It's a, this movie's so weird, you guys. This movie is so strange. Okay, you know what? Let's just jump right into the performances. Adam Driver, he is freaking brilliant. He's excellent in this movie. He plays Henry, who is this stand-up comedian with a very controversial a persona that he goes by ape of god some with god some with ape in it marion cultior uh, plays anne and she is this very um successful wonderful opera singer um they are a couple so obviously in the story they're this whirlwind romance because we have this very sophisticated like opera singer with this like stand-up asshole comic you know it's kind of like differences like attract or whatever marianne of course she's a great singer we've seen her like in um play edith pidoff and la Vian rose um, so we know she can sing so she's obviously the standout when it does come to their singing adam driver he's pretty he has pretty decent vocals but there's times when he tries to hit certain ranges that doesn't quite work out but like marion like she like again she's doing like this opera like stuff and it's like really really good i'm assuming for the most part it's them singing i don't know if anything this dubbed might be but i couldn't really tell so if it is it's very very well dubbed um with the singing um aspect to it and then we also have simon helberg um who you'll know from the big bang theory he is the conductor i think that's actually how he's credited in the movie as the conductor. One of my favorite scenes is actually his when he's caught up in the middle of conducting and a narration. Excuse me a minute. I do want to pre-warn you if you do happen to watch this with your children for whatever reason. I generally just don't see the kids really being interested in this type of movie. But just be pre-warned that there are uh, some sex scenes in here or some very like singing love making scenes here that can get pretty like explicit but again I this is not really a movie that I see many adults really being into let alone children but I don't know your kid may be one of those artsy kids that wants to see it but just be pre-warned 
there are some sex of time happening there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely going to have to come here um, on YouTube to do one of those like ending explain deals because that ending, I was just like, what the, what just happened? I still don't know, but then again, I guess I haven't really had fully time to process a movie. And I'm just like, what was that? What was it? I honestly don't have any negatives for the movie except for one, which is the runtime. It is like extremely, extremely too long. Coming in at two hours and 20 minutes. And the pacing um, doesn't really help in certain parts, which I guess is another negative. Um, I mean, there's just some stuff that we could have sped up. The music, I did enjoy for the most part. Oh, again, it's another negative. Okay, I have three negatives. <laughs> there are some repetitive things going on with the songs. The songs here, I don't really see myself like putting it on my Spotify and listening to it at work. Um, again, nothing really stuck to me, honestly. Like, I haven't really caught myself really humming or really thinking of it. I guess a little, I guess like the angelic tone that the kid does my beat was kind of there but as far as like the actual music lum singing i i i'll just stick to my stars born and the greatest showman i love those are like some of my favorite musicals so these are pretty much all my thoughts on a net i'm pretty sure as i'm editing i'm gonna be like girl you didn't say this you didn't see that but it is what it is. Whatever I didn't say here, I'll say it on my tier list at the end of the month. So before I do give you my score, if you haven't already, if you can so kindly, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I am trying to hit 400 subs, so that would be awesome if you can help me hit that milestone. And of course, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So Annette is probably the strangest, weirdest, like out there musical I think I've ever seen. I was totally here for it. So if you're into those type of movies and you're really up for the experience, and I really say experience because Annette is an experience, then I say give it a watch. So with that said, I am going to go ahead and give Annette a large popcorn. Before I do let you go, I do have a one last thing to say to my viewers who are into recreational drugs. I think that if you're on like shrooms or some sort of hallucinant, Annette is definitely going to take you on a wild trip. Like I said, the visuals here are incredible. It's weird. It's strange. Can you imagine like when you're like tripping hard and you get to the damn, <laughs> to the damn animatronic baby? You're gonna be like, dude, like, whoa, what the hell's happening here? The only other musical that I've ever set this on was um, Across the Universe because that one has like a lot of trippy like colors and stuff happening there too. And I'm like, yeah, if I was like on a hallucinant, this would be pretty trippy too. Now, I'm not saying to go do drugs. Don't be trying to come at me. I said for my recreational drug users. So if you've seen Annette, let me know down below what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Did it leave you with a lot of questions? Did it also make you laugh at the ridiculousness that it is, but you know, totally worth the watch? Let me know down below what did you think about it? If you haven't checked it out yet, are you planning on checking it out? Or is it something you're gonna pass on because maybe you just don't like musicals or you just generally are not into these kind of weirdy artsy type of movies which is totally fine they're not for everybody all right guys that is it for me today until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye